Exactly. They might have won a few mm-hmm. Stanley Cups. Mm-hmm. But do you think that, it, that you can attribute all the problems to uh, management and uh, this old thinking? What about the coaches' involvement? I mean, mm-hmm. Coach coaches play a serious role in how well it. Uh, a team does or does not do. So. No, absolutely, and uh, we, we certainly I mean, we have had some some big time coaches here. Uh, uh, Burns, uh, th- there's been a few o- over the years. Now the '93 and '94 teams, they went to the Final Four two years in a row. So the, the last four teams in the entire league for two years in a row looked like they were going to get to the Stanley Cup and looked like you know management and, and everything was on point there. But when when those Sundeens and and uh, the Gilmores and everybody and Wendell Clark's moved on. Again, nothing. That, who's there to come yeah. in to replace him? Nobody. Swings and misses. So I'm just saying in defense of the coaches, they're only going to be able to coach the talent that they've been given from the general manager, from up top. So I'm just saying that in fairness to them. You know, it's, when I think about that, that you just mentioned that, mm-hmm. because it, in my mind, the Leafs have been bad for 40 years. They have. Right? But to make the final four, mm-hmm. that's a stunning achievement all on its own. It was back-to-back years. Back-to-back when, years. When you think about how many teams there are now, mm-hmm. and when you think about the playoffs and what a long, oh. grueling process. Especially the hockey playoffs. The Stanley Cup Trish, hockey playoffs absolutely. are to make the Final yes. Four even mm-hmm. is amazing. I mean, whoever wins that Stanley Cup, man, has earned it so much. I, c- I couldn't agree more. There's, um, I mean, you can make arguments for any any sport, and, and the playoff system is going to be grueling, absolutely. But I mean, there's nobody, even even a hockey hater, is not going to be able to look at the hockey playoffs and really poke holes in it. It is. Can we say balls out? Uh, it is. It is uh, not. It <laughs> <Why> is. Uh, <laughs> it is pedal to the metal. Extremely intense hockey. We're seeing all kinds of. Uh, I've already. They, they just started on Saturday, and we're seeing all kinds of plays that w- during the regular season yeah. the media would be all over as chippy plays. Yeah. And these players are. You listen to their post game uh, comments. They're brushing it off. They're saying that is playoff hockey. I don't even want to address that play. That mm-hmm. is playoff hockey. Mm-hmm. Old time hockey. Mm. <laughs> so, so Craig, what do you think? Um, some of the things. Uh, that could be done to make sure that um, we had attract better players to the Maple Leafs. Like uh, whether it's, uh, you know, going out and, and, to- uh, and uh, scouting top ta- talent from Junior B. Mm-hmm. What do you think we could be done to keep some maybe some more Canadian talent on the Canadian team so that we could win? Well, I mean, unfortunately speaking, going forward, really the the majority of the talent in the last couple of years, the young talent anyway, has, been, has not been Canadian talent. It's been... Um, Overseas talent, a little bit of U.S. talent, but really more well, overseas talent. Well, we definitely talent. saw Sid, the kid, have oh, major, no, absolutely. major talent, absolutely. and he's a Canadian oh, boy. Absolutely. So now we, now we, we, we can't hold everybody to that. Standard. We can't hold everybody to Sid's well, standards. Know. I mean, there's, he is and there's not always going to be a Gretzky Crosby every day. Crosby beats Ovechkin, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we all know who won that war. Well, and, and but I'm asking, like, what do you think they could do to try and keep some of that homegrown talent home and on our teams and making our teams win uh, Stanley Cup. Well, you know what? Uh, I think it's a great point, and, and I think it's a real um, fallacy or, or a real misnomer in this city. Uh, I hear all the time Toronto fans asking this question and not understanding. We're Toronto. We're the Mecca of hockey. Why, why aren't all these players? These, these big players want to come here. They want to play for the Mecca, and that is just absolutely false. They absolutely do not want to come play in Toronto. Why? Is it too much pressure? Exactly right. If you look at it, uh, let's look at a team like um, I was down there uh, month, during the season, and Tampa Bay was in town. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning had one beat writer following them, and that beat writer had a little buddy with them. So, really, one and a half people that they, or two people Wait, that they would what have is to answer. That? A, what? a beat writer, like a, like for the Toronto Star, oh, or for I the see. Toronto Sun, okay, something like okay, that. Okay. One person. Now, the Leafs, when they go on the road, they've got a, just an absolute you know what load of beat writers following them the media pressure you can be a big fish in a small market where the wins and losses don't matter if you're in a u.s market in toronto the wins and losses are going to matter the the toronto maple leafs are going to be under the microscope in this city as far as the media perspective and i absolutely think it's the media pressure now is that really a pre- because on, on the other hand though toronto really if, as from a city point of view is a great city mm-hmm. you First know class. i mean you, you hear like the football players for example they love to come to toronto basketball too i think Right? Do they not love to come yes. to Toronto and live in Toronto and play for Toronto? Well, like, absolutely. Now, the basketball is a different story. Basketball is a different story. You can come to Toronto and be a Raptor yeah. and still be the big fish in the small pond and still not really have that yeah, media. You don't have the media yes. circus with the yes. Raptors. But still, I, I'm just wondering if the fact that the city is such a great place doesn't counterbalance the fact that it's such a media circus for hockey players in Toronto. For hockey players, it's, it is going to take the special kind of player to come here and really want an uh, equated if, if we have baseball fans watching us to, to it, it's going to take a special type of player to be a New York Yankee. You can't just go to that city and that market and not perform. Yeah, yeah. Same idea here in Toronto. You're, you're going to be asked to perform if you're a Leaf. 
Yeah. But then on the other hand, okay, being that there is tremendous media opportunity here, if you really are a star talent, someone mm -hmm. maybe comparable to Sid the Kid or Wayne Gretzky or whomever of that caliber, um, wouldn't you think it might be good to take advantage of all that media circus? Because mm -hmm. you could pretty much write your ticket for your, you know, your future with that kind of media coverage, that kind of following. You get a, you know, a, a, a cup behind you. You could go anywhere. You could do anything. You, you, you could, can even open up a donut shop. Yeah, and, and the endorsements <laughs> would be phenomenal. Well, absolutely, and, and that is the case being made for people who uh, don't want to see Chris Bosch leave or don't think he would leave or wonder why he would leave because he can be he, he can command this country. Mm -hmm. Never mind just this market, this country. Mm -hmm. Or he can go be a very small fish in, in a very regular pond in the United States w w with a team like that. So it, it, it's definitely a question. But that's why I say it is going to take a special type of person to want to balance that out. And, and that's the misnomer I find anyway. Anyway, with the Toronto fans in the city is there's such a belief that the star players absolutely want to come here yeah. and, and I just don't believe that that's the case well plus you know part of it could be you know because a lot of you know I don't know what the percentage of, of players in the NHL is probably what 50% Canadian still you think uh, I didn't even know if it would be that high mm. interesting have to check. but it's got to be somewhere approaching 50% oh, sure. oh, no, anyway no doubt about it this uh, Canada I mean without a doubt uh, Leafs aside uh, Canada hockey is alive and well we saw that in the uh, Olympics uh, the only part of the Olympics that I personally paid attention to was the hockey. It, it yeah. was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was yeah. totally yeah, amazing. I mean, look at the patriotism we saw too when we Big saw time. Canada win, and you know, it really united our country. It was phenomenal. I, I even watched that. Okay, and um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That I, I think that there's maybe more to this, not so much the media circus or what have you, that that's keeping them away. I think, you know, maybe is are, is there is there a salary issue. Well, I mean, you always, in a, in a salary cap, I think it's an interesting point as well, because in a salary cap league, you always do have to keep that in mind. And this is a team that, again, we come back to management. In the previous regime, the John Ferguson Jr. regime, gave out uh, a lot of bad contracts, if there's other words, to that, that'll sum it up, bad contract, difficult to get out from under. So in a salary cap league, we, ha we have to play with those players now. We, we can't just, this guy here is right. making four, four and a half million dollars a year. He's not working out. Man, I know this player over here is going to work out. Let's bring him in. What well, doesn't work like that? Yeah. That four and a half mil is killing our cap. We don't have room under the cap anymore. So in a cap era, just it, definitely have to keep that in mind. Uh, baseball, foot, well, football is more of a loose cap, but uh, uh, and baseball as well. But basketball and hockey, anytime you're talking about the logistics of putting your team together, you have to be mindful of the cap. I have a, another question yes. for you, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, okay, we see Ottawa Senators are doing very mm -hmm. well. You know, they're now in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And I guess my question is, um, do you think, you know, with teams like Ottawa popping up and, and gaining notoriety, is that sort of taking away from the Leafs' strong reputation that they once had and maybe actually um, pulling potential players away to other teams, even other Canadian teams? Well, absolutely. if you're looking at a difference in markets that they're, they're and, and media like we've been talking about there is no comparison Ottawa to Toronto as far as following the hockey team and as far as being an attractive place for a free agent um, Toronto is is doing what needs to be done right now we talked about needing to build through the draft needing to bottom out to to build back up again that is what they're doing right now so from that perspective if, if you can go with Toronto who's clearly rebuilding and doing it the right way I do believe or Ottawa, who is a playoff team, who has drafted very well and who does have that a future, there's really going to be no comparison. And the, the, it doesn't just stop with Ottawa. There are a few, if you're talking about just Canadian teams, there are a few Canadian teams that organizationally are set up much better than the Toronto Maple Leafs are set up right now. So what do you think that, that, um, that, that the Leafs could do, let's say, to add some incentive to... to the players well I really think they're gonna have to stay the course uh, I, I don't believe there's any alternative here uh, Brian Burke has tried to uh, I would say to his credit we, we heard he tried to get the Sedin twins out of Vancouver he made a move for um, uh, Tavares the the highly touted uh, draft pick from a couple years ago like he has tried to influx talent onto this team but he's seen that uh, again up against the cap up against salaries that he had nothing to do with that were salaries that he took on when he came in hey you know uh, Craig I, what